meter stick. It's not a yard stick. A yard stick's a yard long. Meter stick's a meter long. They vary by about two inches. Um, yeah, the meter, it's, meter stick, it's a meter long. It's, it uses metric units. It's what we're going to use here in science. Uh, the numbers on it represent centimeters, uh, decimeters, and meters. We'll get a little more practice with them in a little bit. The numbers on a meter stick represent centimeters. We start at the 60, between the 60 and the number 1, that is 1 centimeter. The big numbers represent centimeters. However, the small ticks in between them represent millimeters. In science, all the tools we deal with have some inaccuracy naturally built into them. As you can see on this meter stick, the leftmost part of it is where the zero begins. There are vertical ticks there that show where the zero should be. But also notice that the wood on the meter stick extends a little bit to the left of those. That will add a little bit of error to our measurement. Whenever we measure with a meter stick or any type of ruler, we always want to start at a 1 or 2 mark, somewhere other than the end of the stick. The best place to do it is line up the edge of the item you're measuring with the 1 centimeter mark. Also, whenever making measurements with a meter stick, always ensure that you are staring straight down at the meter stick. Not from an angle, not from a side, but always straight down. Notice how you get different measurements on the pencil as we change the angle upon which we view the meter stick. Ensuring we are looking at the meter stick from directly above, we line up the edge of the item we're measuring to the closest tick mark on the stick. Now as you can see here, this is somewhere between the 9 and the 20. Somewhere between 19 and 20. That measures the amount of centimeters. After the centimeters, we have to count up the smaller ticks to find out the number of millimeters that's included in that. In this case, you may see it is 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 8 ticks past the 9. So this would be 19.8 centimeters, which is a very accurate measurement as far as this device is concerned. The measurement we made of the 19.8 centimeters was only where on the meter stick it was laying. This would be the length of the pencil if we started from the zero mark on the meter stick. But remember, we didn't start at the zero. We started at the one centimeter mark. Therefore, our measurement is going to be one centimeter too long. We had a 19.8 centimeter length. We need to take away that one centimeter. The actual length of the pencil is 18.8 centimeters. We will not always subtract 1. The only reason we subtracted 1 was because we started at the 1 centimeter mark. If instead we had started at the 2 or the 3 or the 4.58 centimeter mark, we could choose our location. Wherever we start from, that is the amount we had to subtract away.